Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to do port forwarding on an edge router. So what exactly is port forwarding? If you look it up on Wikipedia, this is the definition they provide. It says, in computer networking, port forwarding or port mapping is an application of network address translation, NAT that redirects the communication request from one address and port number combination to another while the packets are traversing a network gateway, such as a router or firewall. This technique is most commonly used to make services on a host residing on a protected or masqueraded internal network available to hosts on the opposite side of the gateway, external network, by remapping the destination IP address and port number of the communication to an internal host. Woo. Okay, so what does that really mean? In simple terms, port forwarding allows remote devices, for example, that are out on the internet to communicate with a specific device, computer, or service that sits on an internal network behind a router or firewall. Let's take a look at the example in this diagram. So in this basic diagram, I want you to imagine this setup. From left to right, we have an iPhone client that's attempting to access my website on my home web server with the local address of 192.168.100.10. Typically, when that iPhone makes the request to go to my website, it will stop at my Edge Router's WAN interface. This is where port forwarding comes into play. We will program the Edge Router to take that request and pass it onto the web server sitting at that local 100.10 address so that web server returns the web page request to the client on the other side of the gateway. So let's take a look at how simple it is to create that port forwarding rule that's going to allow traffic to reach my internal web server. We're going to start by clicking on the firewall NAT tab, and that should put you on the port forwarding tab. If you're on one of these other three tabs, simply click on port forwarding. Next, I want to show you the advanced options because we get another option called auto firewall that's automatically enabled and we'll talk about that in a second. So we're going to pick our WAN interface and in my case it's ETH0. The LAN interface is on switch 0, that's where my main LAN is. And the next thing I need to do is create the actual port forwarding rule to pass the port 80 traffic onto my web server. So I'm going to click on add rule and the original port is port 80. The protocol is TCP, but if you're unsure if it's TCP or UDP, you can say both, but in this case it is TCP. And let's bring that diagram in here. You can see that the web server is on 192.168.100.10, so that's the forward to address. The forward to port is port 80. And the description you could leave blank, but I'm going to put in web server and say apply. And there you go. The configuration has been applied successfully. Now, if you don't care about the auto firewall rule, you are done. And what the auto firewall rule is, guys, is it creates all the firewall policies for this port forwarding rule in the background for you. Here's the thing though, if you come over to the firewall policies tab, and here are the rule sets, if you look at the WAN in rule set, the policy for port forwarding isn't there. If you're okay with that, like I said, you're done. But if you want to see that firewall policy in your WAN in rule set, then what you want to do is disable the auto firewall Everything else could stay the same. We're going to say apply. But if you disable that auto firewall, you have to go in and create that firewall policy manually. So let's take a look at how that would be done. So I want to create it in my when in rule set because that's traffic that's being initiated out on the internet coming into my edge router and then to be passed onto my web server. So let's come over to the actions tab and click on edit rule set. And I want to add a new rule. And in this case, I'm just going to say allow port 80 traffic. And we want it to be enabled. 
we want to say accept protocols TCP and then we'll come over to the destination tab and what we're going to do is put 80 in the port field and say save. Now that we've got the rule created, we're just going to move that rule order up and say save rule order. So now you can see the actual rule in the rule set. And this is what the auto firewall does for you automatically, but again, you don't see it. So the choice is yours. Um, you can do it either way. I'm going to just delete this rule for now. And I'm going to go back to my port forwarding tab. And I'm just going to show my advanced options and I'm going to enable the auto firewall so that it creates the firewall policy needed to support the port forwarding rule. So guys, that's about it. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please like, and please share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.